it was too much for me to handle for sure. And I ended up just kind of losing my, losing my mind a bit. So I was in my dad's house, trying to think of ways to get out of that house. This band calls August Burns Red. I got to see them play a bunch of times. They came from Mannheim Township, which is like farmland, the same spot that I'm from. Seeing somebody from my hometown do something that was cool and outside the box made me want to also reach for that. I was diagnosed with uh, muscular dystrophy, so it made guitar playing a little harder for me. And my left arm, like the muscles in my forearm here, in my hand as well. There's like actually no muscles in my hand. If I compare my hands, I can't even close my left hand. It just basically makes it so I can't like grip things. I can't like tie my shoes and like stupid things like like zippers are hard. I'll like tongue my notes uh, to Will and then he'll play it on the guitar. I was not a founding member. I had originally heard the first EP. I didn't like love it when they put out Unity and I was like, oh, wait a second, what the hell? These songs are ripping. One of my friends was like a fill-in drummer. CK was kind of in between guitar players. I kind of tried out uh, and it was cool. I joined and then say la vie. I, I wanted to play Warp Tour. That was always my biggest goal, honestly, was Warped. And I think Japan was always on that list too. And I think to have achieved that, that was like a dream come true. Like I never actually thought in words, like I want to tour Japan, but then going overseas and actually playing gigs out there. It's like you achieve a goal that you didn't even set. I journal every day basically as part of therapy and it ends up trickling into all the songs. They're, they are heartfelt and they are personal and it helps me It helps me feel better about myself at the end of the day. Here now forever, uh, like my old high school riff that, that Dave rocked with. People feel it in their hearts and then also when we play it live, I feel like it just shoots through everybody. It comes right off of us and just goes right into the crowd. We're not all in a in a centralized location, we're kind of spread out. That's never been a great thing for us. And with COVID, obviously it didn't help. You know, like getting together with the band always inspires me. I had loss in my family, girlfriend, grandma passed. Her mom got it, my parents had gotten it. Everyone getting sick and the loss. I was just down, not really jamming the guitar much. I was engaged to a girl that I met in England and I was long distance with her for like two years. What's COVID gonna do to my job? What's COVID gonna do to my 10 years that I've spent on this project here? Do I have to relocate countries? Do I have to get all these vaccines to relocate the country? How am I gonna get a job when I get over there? It was too much for me to handle and I ended up just losing my mind a bit. I started talking to people, getting counseling. I, I came home and I crashed. I kept working out and, and now I'm like on the, on the upswing. I feel like I'm learning that Forgiveness is a big thing, and this moment made me realize all those things that I hadn't forgiven that I have to, you know, take responsibility for and not allow them to continue to mess up my future. I like to think we've reached success. When I see people out in the crowd, you see strangers and like someone got a face like, oh, yeah, they start banging their head. We could, we could break up tomorrow. Dave could be like, nah, forget it. I'm going to Antarctica. I hate you. I'll never have said that we were a failure. We achieved that success for sure. That's I feel that in my heart. There's some part of me that has this attachment to my father and he was a professional boxer for a short period of time, but he ended up leaving. And his thing that he always said to me was he wished that he would have stuck with boxing longer just to see like what would have happened. Some part of me feels like I want another four albums and maybe then I'll reevaluate where I'm at, but I'm not ready to hang up the ropes yet. Yeah.